In this video we're going over how to use the Fitbit Inspire HR for beginners. Hey everyone, thank you for joining us today. If you want to stay up to date on all the mobile technology coming out and learn cool tips, tricks, and hidden features, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and tap the button to turn on post notifications so you can be alerted every time we post new videos. Today we're going to walk you through how to use the Fitbit Inspire and Inspire HR. So first we're going to go over how to navigate the screen and how to use some of the setting options. Then we're going to take our phone, show you how to turn on your notifications so you can actually get all your um, notifications from your phone to show up on your Fitbit and how to make some customizations there and how to change the clock face and a few other things. So let's go ahead and jump in and get started. So the first step out of the box uh, when you're trying to link up your Fitbit, so you can't use it unless you have it linked to a phone. That's the first thing. So you will need to download the Fitbit app on either an iOS or Android phone. Um, that is step number one. And this is what the app is gonna look like. So you will download this app. You're gonna need to then create an account with Fitbit, just with an email address and a password. And then uh, it'll give you an option in the app. So let's say we, we let's say your app is already set up and ready to go. You have to click on your profile icon at the top in the corner here, and then you'll go down to set up new device. And then it'll ask you what device you're trying to set up. Very important to make sure you select the um, the right model. So if you have the Inspire HR, make sure you select that one. If you don't have the HR, select this one. Just check on the box. The box will tell you which model you have. After you've done that, you're gonna plug in your charger to your computer or to a USB outlet, but um, it'll be easier to use a computer. You will need to connect your Fitbit to the charger. Make sure the pins are matching up. That's also for charging purposes. Uh, make sure both pins are on the same side and that's going to turn on your Fitbit and then allow it to link up with your phone. Um, so make sure you do that first step. That's going to get you up and running and get it paired to your phone. And the first thing that will happen is it should prompt for a software update and get you caught up with the latest version of software from the manufacturer. Okay, so headed back to the Fitbit, we're going to go through some basic navigation functions. So this is the main screen. Um, normally just by um, turning your wrist that will turn on the display for you now if you have the Fitbit on and you flick your wrist and it doesn't show the time all you'll need to do is hold down on this button on the left here hold down for one second it'll bring up this menu that will one show you your battery percentage but also it will have an option called screen wake and you'll need to make sure that this is enabled if it's blurred out, it means it's turned off. And if the light bulb is bright, it means that it's on. And when you flick your wrist, the time should show up. So that's how you control that in case that isn't showing up. Um, that's pretty much all that button does. Uh, also holding down this button for about 10 seconds will restart your Fitbit as well in case it's not working properly. So when your screen is on, you can swipe down to get to exercise, um, relaxing, setting a timer, alarms, or your settings. All that happens at the top. Now, for timers, um, this is a little tricky, so I wanna show you how to do this. So, let's say you wanted to set a timer. You would just tap on the screen, and you can swipe up or down to get to either a countdown timer or to set a stopwatch. For a countdown timer, you would then tap again. Now the first option it gives you is to select the how long you want the timer, so like how many hours. Let's say you only want your timer to be a few minutes. You would just make sure that HR or hours is on zero and then tap, and then it will take you to minutes. And then from here you can select, oh I want my timer for five minutes. Maybe you're doing a quick run or a workout. So five, tap on the five, and then that will take you to this screen where you can hit the little play button to start the timer. You can then hit pause to pause it, and you can swipe down. If you see there's this little arrow at the top here, 
I can just swipe down and then I can hit reset to start over on the timer. So that's how the timer function works. And most of the time when you have to change anything, let's say you want to set an alarm, it's the same way. Now, in case you didn't catch what I just did, if I want to go back one screen, I'm going to hit just that, that little button on the left here. So I'm on countdown. I want to go back one option, tap it. Now I'm on timers. I can then swipe up or down to go through the different options. If I want to set an alarm, it's going to be the same way. Or actually, alarms have to be set through the Fitbit mobile app. So you can't do that on the device. But hit the button until you get all the way back to your home screen. Now if I swipe the other way, swipe up, it'll show me my uh, number of steps, my uh, current heart rate, my resting heart rate, calories burnt for the day, and my active minutes, and my um, GPS in terms of how long I've walked. So those are going to be your main options down there. Actually, you got a lot more stuff here. So anything you track through the Fitbit app, you can have it show up here too. So your current weight, uh, how much water you've drunk. If you tap here, it looks like it won't allow you to add water through the uh, Inspire, but you can add it into the Fitbit app and it will update as you update the app. So those are going to be your main functions on the device here. Now another important note at the on the main screen, it does show the time 704, and then under it it shows the date. Sorry, the screen keeps going off. If I want to change what's under here, I can just tap the screen and it'll toggle through different options. So steps, heart rate, see that little small number at the bottom, calories burnt, uh, distance, active minutes and it'll take me back to the date. So you have different things you can have show up on this main screen. It's just a matter of tapping the screen once to toggle through those different options. Okay, so now we're in the app here and we're gonna show you a couple of things. Uh, first, we're gonna show you how to turn on your notifications so you can get your text messages. You can see if you have calls, even read emails all from your Fitbit Inspire HR. So what you're gonna do in the upper left corner is tap on the little profile icon. From here, come down to devices and tap on your Inspire HR. And you're gonna go to notifications at the bottom right here. And the first thing you wanna do is enable calls, tap on text messages, and make sure you turn this on and select which text message app you primarily use. Um, I use the messages app. A lot of people use Facebook Messenger, so you just basically need to tell the app which one is your primary app for text messages, and that's what will uh, show through on your notifications. After that, same thing with calendar, enable your calendar, emails, you can enable that and then select which email account or which email app you use, and those are the uh, notifications that will come through. And then under app notifications, you can go through app by app and specifically select which apps will send you notifications because nowadays every single app is trying to notify you of something. So I like to be very selective with this. So if there's a game that I play a lot, I might select that to be one of the notifications. Other than that, I might choose my stock app or I might choose like a sports app that maybe sends me scores. Uh, again, be selective because you don't want your wrist vibrating all day for things that are unimportant. A lot of people like to select uh, social media apps as well. So like maybe a Twitter, um, things like that. Now we're going to go back one step. Um, the next thing you'll want to do, go back one more step here, go back one more step. So we're on this back on the account page here. Now, if you come down to goals, here's where you can set um, different goals that will chime on your Fitbit. So, for example, your activity goal, you may want to set your step goal to be a specific number. I think it, it's defaulted at either 7,000 or 10,000, but you can just type in here and you can change that number to whatever you want it to be. So, change that goal, your activity goal, your calories for the day, all that. And then if we 
go back to the top, go back to our Inspire HR. Now we're gonna go to Clock Faces. This is how we change the face on the front of the watch. So right now this is the watch face we have selected. If I tap all clocks, I can go through here and see some of the other options available. And I could tap this one for example, hit select and give it a few seconds. It will download that face and then it will change it on here. So this is how easy it is to change the face on your Fitbit Inspire. And there's our new face. And for some faces, if you tap it, it will show other information. Looks like this one just has that one option. So these are the only uh, faces that are available. I love this one too for working out because it gives you all your stats in one snapshot. So that's a great one too. We can go back now. And we can also change uh, your wrist placement. So depending on what wrist you have it on, for example, I have it on my right wrist. So I have it on non-dominant, um, but you can basically change what wrist you're gonna have your Fitbit on as well. Um, and that's about it, guys. Those are probably the main things you would do in the app. Actually, I'll show you one more thing. So um, you can also track your uh, food in here, your water intake. And when you track in here, it will show up when you swipe up. So when you swipe up, you can see, let's see. So I can see how much water I've drunk for the day, which I haven't logged any water today. I can see my current weight, if you use the app to log your weight. And um, I, I wanna say there's one screen that shows you your calories as well, if you're keeping track of what you've eaten through the app as well. So those are some of the main features. Um, and that's it guys. So hope you did find that helpful. Make sure you like, favorite, and share the video if it was helpful. Hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more videos. If you have a question, leave it in the comment section down below. And also, if you um, if the video was helpful for you, uh, leave us a comment down below and let us know if it was helpful. We can keep making videos like this. If you had a specific question about how to use yours, leave it in the comment section down below. We'll try to get to it. Thanks again for watching. Also, if you're on Twitter, follow us on Twitter at H2TechVideos. We post all kind of tech videos for phones and tablets and smartwatches, all kind of things. So follow us on there as well. Thanks again. Take care and have a good one.